Neil Herman, fund manager of Henderson Smaller Companies Trust. Now, in the three months up to the end of April, that's February, March and April, how have UK markets performed? Uh, very strongly, actually. Uh, the all share is up uh, just over 5%. Uh, the Numis Index, which is the one we look at, um, is up over 8%, um, driven mostly by uh, what's been happening in Europe, particularly around uh, quantitative easing uh, and the, kind of the, the, f the flood of money there and how strongly European markets performed has driven that, uh, driven the markets higher over the period. How's the trust performed in this environment? Done well. Uh, the NAV of the trust is up 10.7% over the period, so we've outperformed our uh, benchmark by a reasonable margin. Uh, key drivers to that performance have included, um, you know, we had a, a bid from um, uh, Brother International for Domino Printing, one of our major investments. Also, Clinogen, um, a healthcare company, had a um, very strong acquisition, was very enhancing. And also, ETV Technologies, again, a big holding of ours, um, produced very strong results. So, a good period of performance. Has there been any significant activity in the portfolio? Um, yeah, we've seen a, a number of new additions to the portfolio. We've been looking at a number of the IPOs that have been in the market currently. Um, so we've been investing in the challenger banks, uh, particularly Aldermore Group was a, an IPO in that period. Uh, also, we bought both C CSC and DFS, the two furniture companies, uh, again playing the kind of consumer uh, and increasing spend on the RMI and housing market. Um, on the flip side though, a few things have obviously moved out of the portfolio. We sold our Dixon's car phone, which obviously got too big for the portfolio. Uh, also, we've sold down uh, some opposition in AA Group, which has done very well for the trust. We felt it reached a fair valuation. Okay, finally, Neil, I know it's difficult with an election tomorrow, but what's your outlook? Well, obviously, the election is a big you know, caveat here, really, ultimately. Um, I think on the short term, that is a huge level of uncertainty. We'll obviously get a much kind of clearer view by the end of this week and into the, into the rest of uh, May. So, on the short term, volatility. On a medium term, though, still optimistic about the markets going forward. I think the global economy is improving slowly, particularly in Europe. Uh, we're seeing increased M&A activity, particularly in, our, in the smaller company area. Um, and I think earnings growth will pick up. So on the, on the medium term, optimistic. On the short term, anyone's guess. Neil Herman, thank you. Thank you.